was too scared to fly should go back to base and wait patiently with their tail between their legs. Alright guys, so here we go. Burn build video 1.5. It's not exactly what I needed to make, but here we are. However, 1.4 recently came out, and I don't think any of this footage is actually from 1.4, but it's the perfect example of what I'm going to talk about today. The next video will be a mixed bag. We'll get to that when it comes up. However, today we're going to cover a topic of convergent evolution of armored core design based on pilot preference rather than the meta, and discuss potentially why the meta is something you absolutely must know and acknowledge, but outside of competitive settings, do not need to run. So let's get some definitions, as directed by Miriam Webster, if I can read it right, out of the way just to make sure we're on the same page here. Convergent evolution. The independent development of similar traits or features as of body structure or behavior in unrelated or distantly related species or lineages that typically occupy similar environments or ecological niches. Next on the list, parallel evolution. The independent development of similar traits or features as of body structure or behavior in different species or lineages that have common ancestry and that typically occupy similar environments or ecological niches. Divergent evolution. The development of dissimilar traits or features as of body structure or behavior in closely related populations, species, or lineages of common ancestry that typically occupy dissimilar environments or ecological niches. These are the three things that really matter because as deep as this may go or sound, it's really quite simple, as you might have expected from an Armored Core game's player base. Haha, uh -huh. I've been around for 25 years and I'm not going anywhere. Now before I potentially lose another 12% of my viewership, uh, these are simply outlines of the player and how this typically interacts with AC bias design and how each interacts with the player and their preference in game. The most obvious of takes here is the common, I play fighting games like Street Fighter or Blaze Blue, and players who typically fight a lot of opponents and have a wide variety of tools to select from will inevitably have different opinions and values than those who do not fight at the top 1% of players regularly. While this skill gap should be obvious to anyone, Armored Core 6 is a very swingy gameplay type they can cause players to have a disproportionate outlook on what is and is not good. Those of you coming over from the Soul series have no doubt battled this fight before, as have the OGAC crews for a long time. It is common to say the least. Now with that out of the way, the video is going, the going on in the background is exactly what you see as convergent evolution. The blue and black AC LS is an attempt at a mid-range rifle biped using missiles as support. It slowly morphs over time to be something similar to the AC Junkbird, shown here. Upon realizing that's what is occurring, I decided to scrap the idea and start over, looking into other avenues of similar mid-range rifle designs. All eventually led to the laser LRA-focused ACs, typically equipped with the VE-20B or VE-20C generators, energy profiles permitting. The Auroras were the next logical step. Boom, back to Junkbird again. Escaping this loop in search of the best AC you can build is as simple as resetting the mind or just all your parts back to the defaults in each category. I do this every time I'm building a new concept as it frees my mind of lingering ideas from the other currently collecting dust in the garage. I also strip the paint and decals if it matters or if it needs to be done for the same reason. This leads us to what everyone should be conscious about as convergent evolution is a macro issue. Parallel evolution is more of a nuanced and player defined issue as it can stem from biases, in our case up to 20 plus years of experience, or just a casual player group who doesn't venture to fight randoms, or even just bad information collected in isolation and never re resolved or fixed. Which is, as one may expect, lead to outside interaction being even less predictable. This can cause everything from bad experiences and frustrations to even bruised egos, which is important in this community, 
as people assume their accuracy or have their level of incorrect information attacked. Divergent in excuse me, divergent evolution, however, is the tool we use to break these cycles by purposefully putting things where they shouldn't go or seeing the full spectrum of what you have access to at the time. Be it time, skill, experience, players, or information. Making do with what you have to push your skill set onward even if it's not related to what you want to do or how you like to play. It's really just a fancy way of saying try new things a lot but with context as to why that's important. The bigger key than that in the past is don't get discouraged with Armored Core 6. The skill ceiling is lower now than in previous titles, and things that you know are silly, but strong, can still absolutely wreck you if you let them or just end up in a bad matchup. Recognizing that specific interaction for this game is going to be pretty important for basic player development, as well as devising if your current AC can in fact play around this disadvantage and if so how. Problems for the evolution of AC design in this particular game right now as it stands as the date I'm recording this. Armored Core 6 suffers from the fact we don't have the amount of parts that most of us old guys are used to and the entire game can easily be defined as Salt once said by the things it does not have. Each part generally has a job and it's readily obvious what it is, especially since the patch 1.4 recently. This leads to an aggressive position or convergent evolution based on needs, wants, and the desired effects of any particular AC. However, right now is the best time to do preliminary testing work and theory crafting before things get complicated. As one might expect, this is not going to change over the lifespan of Armored Core 6. I typically don't do content that shows you the best build in a patch. It's just not the way I build things. It's not the way I think. And that will continue with this series. Hopefully this has been informative enough to listen to and has given you at least some food for thought until I get 2.0 out. Just bear in mind that the changes you make to each thing, and as you inevitably will converge on the AC design you have made in the past at some point, Take those lessons for what they are, keep the ACs around, and only get rid of them if you have to because you never know where that next inspiration is coming from. I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks for listening. Hope you had a good time. That's what I get paid for. Now for the next one. Don't expect too much. We're not here to do anything special. Thank you.